Hello, it's me again, Professor W. Okay, so now we are going to go over the concluding paragraph within a five paragraph academic essay. Your concluding paragraph is going to have to have a strong intro sentence, which is basically a topic sentence. However, um, technically, uh, concluding paragraphs don't ask for a topic sentence. However, you do need a strong sentence at the very beginning. Um, and then you are going to reiterate main ideas, and you need a strong concluding sentence. Okay, so strong intro sentence. If you recall, the thesis that we've been talking about is all lives matter. Um, and so a strong intro would be um, something along the lines of by reviewing the information previously provided. It is evident that all lives matter. Just in case you are new to this section, um, I want to go ahead and reiterate what I said previously, which is, this is a topic that I have chosen because it is controversial. I don't care if you want to write about blue lives matter or black lives matter, purple, green, yellow, orange, white, doesn't matter, I don't care. It is just an example. I am not trying to take anybody off. I don't want anybody to try to come to the screen and eat me. All I am saying is this is the support and this is what we're talking about because it's a controversial issue and I am not pushing my ideas or beliefs or anything else on anybody else. I am just helping you understand how to write a five paragraph essay. Okay, now I'm done with that. So, by reviewing the information previously provided, it is evident that all lives matter. So that is going to be my beginning sentence because what I'm doing is I'm wrapping up the entire idea again. So I'm sort of visiting my thesis statement again. Um, because I'm now saying, okay, well, I've given you all the information. It's obvious that I'm right. And here's why. When I say reiterate main ideas, what you are going to do is take one to two sentences that support the main idea of each supporting paragraph and restate. Now, I would suggest that you don't use the exact same sentences and the exact same terminology, however you need to paraphrase them. It needs to be one or two sentences long, that way you end up with the same length paragraph as you have to have for each academic paragraph which is seven or more. And then strong conclusion. It is obvious that all lives matter. Okay, so why is that a strong conclusion? because it doesn't give anybody the room to argue with you, okay? Make sure in a concluding sentence you don't ever introduce anything else because then you are just a bad movie. Have you ever watched one of those movies where it's finally getting good and all of a sudden the stupid thing ends and you're like, hello, okay? Did the producers run out of money? 
uh, where's the rest of the story? What happened? Okay, so if you leave an open sentence at the end of a concluding paragraph, same thing happens. If you introduce any more information at the end, same things happens. It leaves the reader questioning that other part that you just introduced. So make sure that all you do is state it is obvious or as you can see or we can't use you because that's second person as it is evident or um, this information proves okay and then your point it is obvious after going through all this again that all lives matter so Concluding paragraph, not that hard. Um, everything's already basically written for you. You just have to reiterate. And hopefully that's clear. All right, see you soon. Bye.